Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's Mike. It is Friday. Happy Friday, everybody. The 19th of August. This is our weekly recap. It goes out to all my members and everybody for free on social media. If you'd like to join us, go to smartoptiontrade.com. Link in the description below. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and join us for live trading room here. Live trading room, $25 for the first 30 days, $100 every month thereafter. We use options. We use news. We have volume and high high low scanners in here it's a great community we'd love to have you join us if you'd like to give us a try so let's talk about this week and um you know this week was another good week not as good as the last couple not as easy but you know here you are on monday up tuesday we pushed right into the 200 day which we had defined as resistance we stopped dead and wednesday we got kind of a funky day yesterday same thing and here today we gapped down and we've had some weakness in this markets mental note it's 1 30 in the afternoon i'm taking off here early i'm leaving early here on fridays for the rest of the summer just to enjoy myself a little bit so market showing some weakness whether we close above or above the below the eight day is going to be important this downtrend comes all the way here from the top of the high of the markets which was on the first trading day of the year and we've come into that spot and that downtrend sitting here and no surprise we're struggling there volume is low Yesterday, we did a putrid 49 million shares. Right now, we're at 36 million shares with two and a half hours to go. We'll do a little bit more. But this is a very low volume market, very typical of late summer. And if the market wants to yank back, first area I really start watching here would be the 417, uh, 417, 418 area where we broke out of, then the 21 day, and then we'll see if it wants to go further. And the upside, we're going to have to take out the 200 day in this uptrend. Keep it simple. The good news, the oscillators, which had gotten overheated, especially the Qs all the way up here, plus 275. Well, look at this, negative 89 on the New York Stock Exchange here and negative, where are we at? Negative 109 area now on the NASDAQ. And this is good. That means we've cooled off. And even though we've gotten gone very much, we've cooled the oscillators off and we're no longer screaming hot in this market or any way extended. So the market has some room here now to run to the upside again if it wants it. By the way, Qs just broke fresh lows of the day, ticks negative. Not much going on here. So let's talk about what was good this week. Um, you know, not everything works. My AMD trade did not work this week. I added to it, was a mistake. Tried to push yesterday and here we gap down and mush. The semis have mostly been out of play. You can actually see here, there's a downtrend sitting in here on AMD at this point. Same thing with Nvidia. If you're looking for strength in the semis, on hit a new all-time high yesterday and remains strong. MRVL is also very strong. Yes, we traded BBBY. I felt dirty, but BBBY gave some nice trades this week along with GME and the meme stocks that were in play with something to do. Apple, again, was one of the best names this week, still grinding up hires all the way above it to the 176 area. Please note, Apple is getting very, very close to all-time highs at 182. Pulling back has yet to touch the eight-day. Remains strong. We had nice trades in energy. Devin was huge yesterday morning out of the gate, extending here. Look at this chart, Devin here now, breaking out and heading back to highs. We were just all over Oxy on news in this room that Buffett was applied for to get it by 50% of the stake in the company. Nice move on Oxy here. And overall, the energy sector remained strong. Solars were strong. We had nice moves on CSIQ this week, giving it back here. And there was just a lot to do depending upon what you were looking to do this week. Overall, though, the semis were weak and it was a quieter week. Tesla going into its three for one split which happens on the close on Wednesday, has been very weak. Please notice you got a downtrend here on Tesla. So far, it's holding up or below the eight day. Maybe we catch it the 21 day. So how do I feel going into next week? I feel like we're going into a market that is in the late summer, guys. And late summer markets are typically very slow and very quiet, as this market has been. And it doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with it. It just means that the big guys are away. Friday is notoriously slow. We don't have to deal with the Fed now until late, um, later, later part of September. And, uh, you know, we'll get some data coming at us next week. But overall, not a lot going on here. I believe any pullbacks or buying opportunities and dips in this market unless we really see some news come out that shakes the market. With that said, link in the description if you want to join us. Everybody have a fabulous weekend. I'll do charts on Sunday. And everybody catch you in the room on Monday morning.